five ways to make a pie. I did not know that. The Gooseberry Patch ladies show them all next on Fox 28. Stay with us. Now, the Gooseberry Patch ladies, two of our favorite guests here on Good Day Columbus. But each time they're here, well, we keep them busy in the kitchen. So I caught up with the busy fan favorites to get to know Joanne and Vicki a bit better. We started 27 years ago. We were next door neighbors and um, didn't really know each other, just had little kids. They were, we were chatting over the back fence. Yes. We love to cook. We went to flea markets. And now we're considered national bestsellers on Amazon because our numbers have gotten huge. That's exciting. Huge. We are really That's exciting. really exciting. So now we put that on every one of our, our books because um, we're I'm very proud of that. The numbers are so big that um, we've got yeah. um, probably 9 million cookbooks I think we've yes. so far. Yes. From humble beginnings to best sellers, the Gooseberry Patch ladies remain down to earth and consider their fans and team behind the scenes family. Vicki Hutchins and Joanne Martin have collected around 20,000 recipes from around the country. Their community style cookbooks were only the beginning for this delightful duo. Today, you can even find ebooks from the Gooseberry Patch. But what makes the Gooseberry brand successful is the same thing that makes it special. It's a nice community. It is really a community. And if we didn't have our community, we wouldn't have these cookbooks. It's all about community. And really, when you think about social marketing, we were doing it in 1992. I mean, we started it that way because that's how we put our cookbooks together uh, was with uh, recipes. People just from, sending them in yeah, all over exactly. the country. And we still ask people to send them in. And we're, we're looking for how many did we say? 1,500 recipes a year? We use 1,500 a year uh, with all in, the books in all the that books we're publishing. That we're, mm -hmm. 1500 a year, and I'm enjoying one of them <laughs> right now, guys. Very unbelievable good pie. Well, of course, since the Gooseberry Patch ladies are here, you know we do have to put them in the kitchen for at least one of those recipes. And today, we are talking about really good pie, as I was able to just enjoy myself. <laughs> this kind of pie, what is this called? That's a just peachy hand pie. Hand pie, mm -hmm. and that's the one you are going to uh, have me attempt to make as yes, well, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, well, let's go. And the go idea is you can eat it with your hands. See, that's yeah. the mm. whole thing. You don't mm -hmm. need a fork and a knife. Oh, oh mm. there's Walter. And there's Walter stealing one long. down. <laughs> See why they're, these ladies are our favorites. Mm. We can't get enough. Okay, okay we're let's gonna get start. Started. This is just uh, refrigerated pie dough okay. from the grocery store. Makes it easy. I can do that. Gonna cut it into quarters. Okay, and we're going to put a little bit of filling oh, in each one. And, and I think it's about two <clears throat> tablespoons, right? Is, is each yeah. scoop about yeah. a tablespoon? Yeah, you don't want to put too much because when you fold it over, <coughs> um, you know, it'll seep out otherwise. So you just want to use about two tablespoons. What other kind of fillings can you use for this? Can you can use, use anything, anything really? in the season. You know, right now the peaches are beautiful, especially up at Lake Erie. Oh, yeah. But we've wonderful. also got beautiful oh. berries right now. You could use frozen berries if you wanted to keep it easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's really just whatever you, you can oh. mix. You know, it could be mm -hmm. peaches and berries together. You can make your own filling. You can buy a pie filling at the grocery store, nice. whatever you like to do. Okay, okay so now. We're now get started. Okay. What are we doing? All we do is pick this up, okay. fold it over, and pinch. Oh, I pinch this. closed. And then we'll use the fork to really seal it. Look how easy that was. Oh, wow. They said when I walked up that they guaranteed I could do this, and this is something that you I totally could even do. Can do it. Since, since you ladies were teasing me when I went to your kitchen there, Joanne, about not cooking. So here we <laughs> even, go. This even, is pretty good. even Natalie could do this. But look, they look homemade. Oh, yeah. It's store bought Natalie. dough. You could make your dough if that you wanted to. That looks so nice. Yes. And you know, it's just really just the fork. And they're perfect for bake sales, mm -hmm. you know, for church events. They're easy to pack and take to a tailgate party, See how easy. you Ooh. know, or a picnic. And um, people can eat them with their hands, so you don't even need dishes. And as you can Great. see, people have grabbed them already, so they're... Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's like, a, it's not an intimidating way to eat pie, because so many times we think of sitting down and having to indulge, but Walter's agreeing. He's giving us a thumbs up over <laughs> That's there. That's great. Not that uh, we're not surprised and by that. And then just really, before yep. you bake them, the finishing touch would be mm -hmm. that you take a little bit of egg, just brush it on there, okay. gives it a nice golden mm -hmm. color. And you know what, Natalie, I'll let you sprinkle with some coarse sugar. And it just kind of gives it a little bit of crunch. It's an assembly line process here. There we go. Yeah, see, we, could, we, could, we could have a pie truck or something <laughs> here, you know? Yep, there we go. Get, or just use your fingers and sprinkle it on oh, a little bit. And then I think we baked these at what, 325 for 18 to 20 yes, minutes? Yes, exactly. Nice. And, uh, and the recipe's on the website, so perfect. So this is one that people just absolutely love. Now, let so me, and easy. I've got to ask now, since I learned the ins and outs and how mm -hmm. many recipes you do get in from all your viewers, is this, is this one of your fan favorites? That it absolutely submit? is. It absolutely is. I think at any time you can take um, a, a normal recipe as such and turn it into something special, something different. People like that twist 
um, it's just fun. And really personalize it for whatever mm -hmm. that person loves. If they have a special berry or a special time of the yeah. year, you know, it makes it easy. You just put them on a cookie sheet. Exactly. How much easier than that could it be? I can absolutely do you this. Do you were not kidding me on this <laughs> no. one. See? Oh, <laughs> well, thank you for opening up your kitchen to me earlier. You're welcome. So great to get to it's know great. these ladies a bit better and your story of success. But while we're talking about these pies, as I'm continuing Munching. to eat mine, Coming up, we're going to be talking about four other kinds of pies. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know these pies existed. And you got to take a quick little sneak peek. Check out these babies in jars. How fun is that? I think Lisa is going to take her hand and try to make some of those. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Lisa, we have got it made on this one. <laughs> pie in a jar? I mean, so good. With How heart. much do I love you? <laughs> <laughs> they said it's very good for pregnant women. It's fruit. Ah. <laughs> I like that. Everything is good for pregnant women. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it is one of the best known movies of the 90s, and now it is a Broadway show. The movie Ghost has been turned into a big Broadway production. The show has already debuted in.